Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to graph absolute value equation of the form y equals a absolute value of x minus h plus k, where h and k are our locator points. Before we jump into an example of an equation that looks like this and graph it, we are going to look into the shape of the parent graph of an absolute value function. So this is the parent equation of an absolute value function. Let's fill this table in because we're going to use this table when we um, are given an equation of absolute value of this form right here. So first we need to uh, look into the value for this table right here. Um, if this is our y right here and this is the x value, so then we can go ahead and plug this uh, x into this. So the absolute value of 2 is 2. So I'm going to write that in here. And then the absolute value of 1, so we plug it in, absolute value of 1 is 1, positive 1. Now the absolute value of zero is zero. The absolute value of negative one, now notice this. If we get an absolute value of a negative, we are going to take the positive. So this would be a positive one. And then if we have um, an absolute value of negative two, absolute value will always take positive. So this would be a positive two. So these are the values that we have here. Now we're ready to graph this. We start with um, two and two. So that would be positive two and um, y is positive two. So it's gonna be right here. And then the second point would be uh, one and one. So it's gonna be right here, one and one. And then the third one is zero, zero. So it's gonna be the point of origin. And then negative one and positive one. So negative one, positive one is gonna be right there. And then negative two and positive two. So negative two and positive two, that this is the um, fifth dot. Now we are going to connect this uh, together. So if we connect this, this would be the uh, graph. This would be the parent graph of an absolute value function. Now we are going, again, we are going to use this table that we have here in order that we can translate an equation of an absolute value function of this form. We can go ahead and label this graph as y is equal to absolute value of x. So they're a match. Now let's take this first example here to better see um, how this works. Okay, we're supposed to sketch the graph of y equals 2 absolute value of x minus 4. Before we jump into graphing this and filling this table in, um, we fill these uh, blanks here first. So looking at this, our a is positive, so this graph opens upward. So this is going to open up because, um, again, the a is positive. Our H here, remember H is this part, the one that uh, uh, partners up with X. Since there's no number in there, others are gonna think like, oh, that's one, so it's not one. Oh, the, no. the H is not one, but instead it is zero. And then the K is the one that is on here by itself, so that would be a negative four. So we keep the sign of that, so I keep that as negative four. So we can go ahead and say that the locator point HK is zero, negative four. Now the graph is vertically stretched because this, uh, the A is greater than one. So if A, if the absolute value of A is greater than one, then the graph is vertically stretched. So we go ahead and write that this is vertically stretched compared to that of the parent graph. Now let's move on to uh, filling this table in. Now, we have some steps in order that we can um, graph this equation that we have right here. The first step is to use this equation in graphing form and the table of values that we got from the first slide of the parent graph to complete this table of values of the translated graph. So what's going on here is that if we have this value right here, so whatever this value that we got inside the absolute value, that's the one that we put in here. So that means this is x, the h again is zero since it's not there. So we go ahead and write this column right here would be x plus zero. Again, that's a zero because uh, the h was zero. Now, if we complete this table that we have here, the x that we're referring to are these values. So we start with two. So two plus zero is two. 
and then one plus zero is one, and then we have zero plus zero is zero, and then um, negative one, so that's the X right there, so we, we what are we doing is we're matching this column would match up with this column. So that's what we're doing right now. We are completing this uh, first column right here. So they're going to match up using this equation that we have here. So negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. And then we have negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. So we're done with matching up the first column. Now we move on to the second column right here. So for the second column that we have here, we're supposed to use the A. So whatever the value of A first, we put it in there. So the value of A was 2. After the A would be the Y. This Y that we are referring to is this Y right here. And then after that, we're going to add the K value, which is minus 4. So pretty much we show the work here on the side to see what's going on. So that would be 2 and then um, parentheses, the Y value minus 4, 2 parentheses, Y minus 4. So I'm just setting it up. Okay, so we uh, fill this uh, um parentheses in. So the one that we fill into the parentheses is the y. So that's in red. It's the y value. So whatever the y here, we fill it in here. So that would be 2. And then this next one would match up to the other one. That's 1. This uh, parentheses will match up to the 0. This parentheses will match up to the 1. And this parentheses will match up to the 2. So then from here, we go ahead and do the math for this. So that would be 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4 is 0. So this is a 0 right here. And then 2 times 1 is 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Then we have 2 times 0 is 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Then we have 2 times 1 is 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4 is 0. So then we are now ready to sketch the graph of this um, equation right there. So we're going to start with 2, 0. So that would be x is 2. And then at 0, so it's going to be right here. And then the next dot would be on 1 will go to negative 2. So it's going to be right here. And then 0 goes to negative 4. So it's going to be down here. And then um, that's going to be negative 1 and negative 2. So negative 1 would go to negative 2. It's right here. And then we have 0 would be on negative 2. So it's going to be right here. So this is the um, graph of this equation right there. So this is a little skinnier compared to the parent graph. And this one has moved down four steps because the K was four. So then we can go ahead and label this graph as Y equals two absolute value of X minus four. So they're a match right there. On the side, on the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph and you will see that this five red points are actually part of the graph. So both the Desmos version and this paper version graph that we did are pretty much the same um, graph. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, first we fill this in. Since this is a negative A, this opens downward. So I'm just going to write the word downward here. And then our H is this one right here. Remember, we switch. So that would be a positive 3. And then the K is not there. Again, others are going to think that it's a uh, invisible 1. That is not the way how we do it. It is supposed to be zero because if it was a one, then it should have uh, been written in there. So our K is zero. That means the locator point is three, zero. And the graph is vertically compressed because the absolute value of A is less than one. So this is vertically compressed. Okay, so we're now ready to fill this in. 
Again, the first step is to use this equation in graphing form and the table of values from the parent graph that we did on the first slide to complete this table of values of the translated graph. So what are we gonna do is this one right here is gonna go here. Now, please remember the uh, it should always be switched. So pretty much the equation that we're gonna have here, here would be x plus three. So we always switch that. Now, if we complete this table, we're gonna start by uh, uh, using the x that we have here. Again, this column would match up. This column would match up. So we have a uh, two plus three would be five. And then, and then one plus three is four. Zero plus three is three. Negative one plus three is two. And then negative two plus three is one. So then we are now ready to fill the other um, column that we have here. Again, please remember, we always use the A. We always write that down in there. So instead of using the uh, fraction, I'm gonna use the decimal. So that is a negative 0 0.5. And then we put in the Y. The Y value again is the one that we get from here. And then the K that we have here that is supposed to be here is a zero. So we're gonna add zero. So adding zero will not really change it. So um, adding zero will not really change the value. So we can just not write that one in here. So that would be a negative 0 0.5. And then we put in the Y plus zero. So again, that's uh, I'm just rewriting that down here for the work. So that's 0 0.5 parentheses plus zeros. I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. Okay, so we're now ready to fill this in. So the values that we put into this uh, parentheses here are the values of the Y that we got here. So we're gonna match them up so that this would be two, and then the next one would be one, this would be zero, this would be one, and this would be two. Again, these values should match up. Okay, so then we go ahead and do the math here. Negative 0 0.5 times two is a negative one. So I'm gonna write negative one right here. Negative 0 0.5 times one is a negative 0 0.5. And then um, negative 0 0.5 times zero is a zero. And then we have negative 0 0.5 times one is negative 0 0.5 plus zero is just a negative 0 0.5. And then we have um, negative 0 0.5 times two is negative one. So then from here, we're now ready to draw the uh, graph over here. So we start with five. So positive five will go to negative one. So it's going to be right here. That's the first dot. Four is to negative 0 0.5. So four would go to negative 0 0.5. So that's halfway between negative one and zero. So it's going to be right here. And then the next dot would be three would go to zero. So it's going to be right here. And then we have two would go to negative 0 0.5. So we go to uh, the x is uh, two right here. So that is again, negative 0 0.5. So it's gonna be down here. And then we have uh, the last one here is one would go to negative one. So it's gonna be right here. So from here, we can go ahead and um, sketch the graph for this equation right there. So again, it's an absolute value function. So it's like a letter V. So uh, I'm gonna draw the letter V right here. Now the reason why this is upside down or it's um, it's opening downward because again, the A was negative and this is uh, vertically compressed or it becomes um, wider since the absolute value of A is less than one but greater than zero. So we can go ahead and label this graph as y equals negative one half, absolute value of x minus three. On the side, you will see the decimals version of this graph and you will see that this five red dots or red points that we have here are actually part of the graph. So both the decimals version and the paper version that we got over here are the same. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next problem that we have here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we uh, fill this in first. So since this is a negative A, this opens downwards. I'm just gonna word, uh, write the word downward here. 
Again, we always remember that our H is we switch, so this becomes a negative one. And then the K is we keep, so that would be a positive five. That means our locator point is negative one and five. The graph is vertically stretched because the absolute value of A is greater than one. So this is vertically stretched. Now we're ready to fill this table in so that we can draw the graph here. So remember, the first column would be for the X. So this is the one that we put in. But again, we always remember that we switch the H. So this becomes X minus 1. So then if we fill this in, so that would be the X value that we have here would be 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. And then 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And then negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then we have negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. We're ready to fill this um, table or this column in. Now remember, we take the first value, which is the A. So I'm going to write negative 3. And then we put in the Y value after the A. And then we add the K, which is plus 5. So I'm just going to write that here, plus 5. So then we go ahead and show the uh, work on the side over here. So this would be, um, I'm just going to copy everything in there. So negative 3 parentheses plus 5. So again, inside the parentheses would be the Y. So negative 3 parentheses plus 5. I will do, I will do it for the rest of them. Okay, so we're ready to fill this table in. Remember that it's the Y value that we put in inside the parentheses. So this would be two right here. This would be one, this would be zero, this would be one, and this would be two. So we, we didn't have to do the math here. So negative three times two is a negative six, plus five is a negative one. And then we have a negative three times one is a negative three, plus five is a positive two. And then negative 3 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. And then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 5 is a positive 2. And then negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus 5 is a negative 1. So then we're ready to uh, graph these coordinates here. So we have 1 and negative 1. So I go to 1 and go to negative 1. So it's going to be this point right here. And then 0 and positive 2. So at 0, it's going to go up to positive 2 right here. And then negative 1 would go to 5. So negative 1 would go all the way to 5. And then we have um, negative 2 will go all the way to 2. So it's going to be right here. And then we have negative 3 would go to negative 1. So it's going to be right here at the bottom. So this is... This is where the uh, five dots is going to sit. So we're going to connect it to create the um, absolute value graph. Okay, so this is the graph. So we can label this graph as y equals negative 3 absolute value of x plus 1 plus 5. On the side, you will see the decimals version of this graph. You can see that the five red dots are part of the graph. So we can see that the paper version and the decimals version of the graph match up. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.